Sport Fishing on the Fly is brought to you by Togan's Fly Shop, Maui Jim Sunglasses, and Hardy Rods and Reels. Good day everyone and welcome to another segment on the bench. Today I'm going to tie you up a real simple little fly. This is uh, just a hairs. Here's your micro jig, uh, size 16. It's a, it's a great little bug. You want to get the size down for these nymphs, probably more so than anything is really, really important. You can go to 18s if you like. 16s pretty much gets the job done in my opinion. You can hang this under a cork if you want to fish it static. You can fish it with a clear intermediate line. Uh, just slow hand twists and uh, keep it in the zone. But it will actually sink quite hard. It won't stay in the zone a long time. If you're fishing shallow water, I wouldn't recommend it because of the, the uh, bead head we use on it. So let's go over the materials we need to tie the fly. Uh, to start, I'm going to be using a Togan size 16 jig hook. And on the front, I'm putting a tungsten slotted bead on here. That's from Togan's as well. This is a light pink, uh, 764 uh, 2.8 millimeters if you know the metric and the thread I'm going to be using is some 6 aught flat pink thread you can use 8 aught if you like try to blend that in the uh, tailing material I'm going to be going to a partridge skin uh, here we have our nice collars down in here up here I've used these for tailing materials nice speckled uh, hackles make a uh, great little tailing material there and uh, nice on small nymphs. The body is simply hair's ear dubbing and the rib to accent that nice bead is going to be a pale pink holographic tinsel from Semperfly. This is a 0.4 millimeter or 1 69th inch. What can you say about a hair's ear nymph? Probably one of the most standard flies that has ever been tied. Tied with the original just with a hair's mask of course. And I still tie them just with hair mass. I, I, I still use the mask because I can pick out the, the quality of the hair and the, it's a little tougher to work with sometimes, but it works really, really well. I'm more of a proponent of um, natural fibers than I am of a lot of chenilles and synthetics, to be honest with you, for nymphs and so forth. Okay, we're just coming in. We got to side one side off this partridge. Nice fibers there. Pinch that on. We get that tight in the back. Wrap up the butts. I'm not adding any. I, I could have put some lead back there to stop that bead from rolling. But if I get some good tight turns here with my thread down the bottom, that'll hold it in there. It's not going to slip. I just would rather have it a little bit lighter in weight. I'll give up that for the weight so I can fish it uh, with my full sink lines, whatever I'm using, right from intermediates. And you can also fish with clear lines. This Sometimes you guys are just using clear lines. Uh, this works good. So just Fish it naked on a clear line and uh, uh, kind of countdown method and see how far you need to go to get into the fish and make sure you're retrieving it nice and slow. And uh, hang on because this is a great little bug. Well, let's size fool you up. Tie in my holographic flash. I'm just going to use a rotary vise here this way. I bought a Norvice years ago because the dubbing it's like a spinning wheel and really works so well for dubbing that's why that was why I really like it I can come off and I get this buggy nature right out of the gate look at the nice hairs coming off it there and then I'll start and I'll try to get a nice tapered body on here I'm just going slow so you can follow me along I could spin that on a lot faster but I'll lose you Get a bit of a taper on it. Looks like I got a little piece of my. You know what happened? I grabbed two of those off my desk. I can't see. I'm tying behind my vice here, so I'm always away from the fly, so I can just show it to you without 
you've seen me in the picture I like to, just the fly to be on the on the shot well we get about four turns or so of uh, holographic tinsel tie it off a little whip finish on that that accents that pink thread accents that light pink pale pink uh, Semperfly holographic tinsel just make sure you kind of get the proportions right get a little bit of a taper on the front of it keep it thin keep it buggy if you uh, dub by hand and it gets uh, you know a little bit too flat on you come in with a, a dubbing picker and just pick that out a little bit that works just so well just I can't emphasize enough keep your nymphs buggy and uh, you know, unless you want to take pictures of them hang them on the wall or show them to your friends or whatever you can have nice neat flies that's always fun but if you want to catch a lot of fish buggy flies will catch more fish in a nice neat body and, and so many cases and not in all cases don't quote me on that but uh, anyway we'd like to thank you again for catching us on sport fishing on the fly here again today for this little fly and we'll uh, catch up again real soon make sure if you haven't signed up for membership on sport fishing on the fly there's lots of episodes of 25 years of episodes of television there's new shows being shot all the time uh, new videos there's hundreds of flies being uh, demonstrated on there too so that's quite a wealth of information for you there if you're uh, a newcomer it's great and if you're an old timer it gives you lots to do and keeps you busy over the winter gets us ready for our spring fishing which is right around the corner so thank you again for watching and catch you again real soon